I'm Lisa Evers, and this is Street Soldiers. Fox 5 and Hot 97 present Street Soldiers with Lisa Evers. It started wars, caused gang fights, and bankrupted millionaires. It's also filled thousands of hours of soap operas and reality TV shows. We're talking about love relationships, and as the experts tell us, it all depends on how you approach them. For big name celebrities, being part of a power couple is the ultimate status symbol. But love in the limelight can get tricky, as the new star couple of Love and Hip Hop New York, DJ Drewski and Sky Landish, are finding out. Eskaya to put some battle season competitors in check. Don't call mommy, because he don't want your They have their own prescription for keeping the drama on screen and out of their bedroom. Um, loyalty, that's for sure. Communication and consistency. He was really consistent, very loyal, and very communicative. We don't even have to speak up. She could just give me a look, and I know what it means. <laughs> Many dream of a walk down the aisle with her one and only, but some skeptics say the institution of marriage is outdated and romance is dead. Not so. Just different and very much alive, says NYC relationship coach Natalie de Oliveira. Nowadays, we have online dating and technology, and that's changed a little bit of the context and the stories, but at the end of the day, it's not going to take it's not taking romance out of it. The love life drama of Grammy-winning music producer Stevie J is well known to love and hip hop Atlanta fans. In the city to promote his new show, Leave It to Stevie, he insisted to me he's turning over a new leaf and avoiding a common male mistake. Just trying to have sex too fast, slow down, you know what I'm saying? No need to try to knock everything down. Find you one woman, and that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find me a beautiful woman right now that could just help me complete my life and happiness. DBJ is back. For the first time in a long time, I'm at the top of my game. Our relationship expert says a common mistake for women is overthinking everything. And for men, it's either being afraid to date or dating too much. Now let's find out what our panel has to say. Joining us, Rip Michaels. He's an actor. He's a comedian. He's got an upcoming Showtime special um, coming out this February. We, you've seen him on TV on Wild and Out with Nick Cannon and also Living Funny on Oxygen. Rip, great to have you I with us. excited to be here. Everybody look good today. Look, yeah, everybody cool looks really good. Really, really good. Shiny really jacket, good. dress. Okay, blazer <laughs> with a flannel shirt. <laughs> Won't God do it? Okay, I'm sorry. It's a dress. That's a style. Oh, yeah. okay. It's a big, hot style mm. this year. Also with us, Tiana Smalls. She's an author, entrepreneur, TV, and multimedia personality and relationship coach to uh, some people and a tough talker to women, giving them some very important lessons. Tiana, great to have you. Thanks for having me. Thank you oh, so man, much. <laughs> She's counting her I money know, right? already. She's, She's counting her money know. already. Money uh, also with us is the one and only Stevie J. You've seen him on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. He's also a Grammy-winning music producer, and he has a new show that he's starring in on VH1 called Leave it to Stevie. Mm. So hey, we're thanks uh, for having me. <laughs> it was great to have you on. So to be our here. first topic, our first, our first topic for our guests is going to be top turn offs. Mm. What are the things, Tiana? When you were single, you're happily married now, mm -hmm. ready to welcome your first child into the world. Right. When you were out there dating before you were mating. That's right. What were some uh -oh. of the things with <laughs> the guys that you were just like? No way. Okay, well, the first turn off for me is that a guy that doesn't keep his word. I hate when someone says they're going to do something and they don't do it. That's, like, terrible. The next thing I hate is that a guy that's lazy because we're in 2016, Lisa. You could lay some towel down on the floor. You could help a lady move on Craigslist. You could get that money. There's no reason why a man should be, like, broke and just don't have no type of goals in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and just, hanging around, just hanging around. And, the, and what about keeping his word? And I truth. hate liars. Like, a liar, if you lie, you steal. And if you steal, you kill. Uh -oh. And I hate a liar. Ooh, that was dope. Okay. You lied to Wait. before. I can tell right, everybody got lied to me. Nah, if you exactly. lie to me, I don't deal with you. I can't take that. Steve, mm -hmm. Stevie J, what are your turnoffs mm -hmm. for the ladies? Because you've had quite a few ladies. Yeah, Let's yeah. face it. I, I've everybody had my knows share of women, but you know, my turnoffs would be a woman with a dirty crib. You know what I'm saying? Like a dirty sink, mm -hmm. under the couch is dirty. Make sure everything is fresh. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not, I'm out of there. Ladies, I'm, watch I, rag. I'm gonna tell them go into the car to get us something, and them. And then you just off. out. Skirt. You would just jump in the car yeah, and leave. I, I, I don't not have even time make to some excuse like I got baby, daughters I to, to teach. I have daughters I could teach. I'm not teaching a grown woman how to be a grown woman. Mm. Amen. This All is right, 2050. There it is. Amen. You feel me? Uh, there it is. Uh, Rip Michaels. No, what about you? Stevie. That's yeah, what it is. That's 2000 Stevie. There we go. There we go. 
Rip, what about you? I hate irresponsibility. That's what I, I don't like in every facet of that. That's right. Irresponsibility goes to what you're saying, like Absolutely. irresponsible. Yeah. Like, a, like, a, like a woman don't take care of herself. And I, I don't like ratchet women. I like clatchy women. That's when a woman is classy and, and ratchet, ratchet at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like her nails done, but her toes ain't because it's cold outside. That's it's classy. Exactly. Oh, you know what I'm not, it's not? Come on. Come on. Right now, new dress and an old bra because it makes your breasts look good. That's clatchy. That's, clatchy. <laughs> That's yeah. survival. That's a clatchy. See, look at you. I know it's clatchy. It's called, That's she's going to go for the best. I'm from East New York. East New York. I'm a polished hood chick. That means you clatchy. Exactly. So you got an extensive Thank you for, vocabulary. Thank you. You got extensive vocabulary. Uh, you come from a good background. You got a good education, but you will put a chick in a place. Ain't well, that right? That's true. There, Street there it is. Street soldier. <laughs> that's it. We're not playing around. All right. What about, okay, guys, I want to ask you this because a lot of relationship advice comes from women mm-hmm. to other women based on what we've gone through. They don't right? listen to us, though. They'd rather listen to a man. Exactly. All right. But when you're looking at the women, how right. do you decide, like, aside from being attracted to right. them, how do you decide, okay, this is somebody that's, you know, yeah, she wants a picture for Instagram. She's right. going to try to hit me up for some money. Right. This is somebody that maybe has more potential if you were looking for Categories. a serious relationship. If I was looking for a serious relationship, I look for independence. I look for somebody who's has a great job, you know what I'm saying, or, or working towards it, you know, who has a nice car, their own place to stay. Jesus. You know, not not the handout, you know what I'm saying? Because at this point in my life, you know what I'm saying, I'm grooming my daughter, so I'm, I'm, I'm showing them how to be women. I'm not... Looking for somebody I got to teach and groom and all that. Hey, you know you want saying? more like a partner. Are you spending that money though? Because you're a Scorpio. Spoiler. I'm not giving half up, so I don't, I'm not looking for a partner. I'm just <laughs> oh, looking for oh, somebody to spend some time with. Somebody See, to he's spend just looking for a friend. Yeah. A, yeah. Friend. Yeah. a friend. A friend. But, 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 do, you, okay. them too. but do you be yeah. clear with women when you meet them? Because you know a right. lot of guys say that I'm not ready for a relationship. I don't. I'm not looking for a partner. But then they're fronting like they are. So you but, tell them I'm not looking but for. But if, if you don't call them and they're just calling you and they just want to have a women good time. just call you and you don't call them. See, this is where they make. I don't text back. Okay, I don't text back. All right, preach, Tiana. See, this is the problem, ladies. You heard what Stevie J said? He said, oh, if she's calling me and I'm not calling her. See, the first sign he not into your behind is if he don't call you. So that right, right there is a big, bad sign right there. Right. I'm not big on phone conversation. See, that's the trick they tell you until they meet a girl they like and they be on the phone for four hours like, you go to sleep. No, you go to sleep. FaceTime. There you go. Because they want to get you naked. And, and this is the point. And th- this is the thing with men, Rip, is that if women pursue them, a lot of times men just aren't going to say no. They're going to yeah, say, hey, yes. okay, cool. And then the women get more involved. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Uh, women true. like the guys that, you know, they got to go after. They don't like the guy. They never like the good guys. Keep it real. Right. You was explaining. You married. You, didn't, you don't like the good guys, you know. No, you I told always like the good guys. No, I always like the no good guys. No woman like the good guys. I like the good guys. Now I like the good guys. Exactly. Okay. Now, how the older you get. Right. Because then the rest don't matter. The older you get, then you look for things like stability and, and right. that he able to read and right. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and that you're not going to get a call from the precinct yeah, at like three you know o'clock in the morning. That's, that's like, the older you get, the, because the women don't want the good guy. They don't like the attorney. They don't like the guy so. that's like hi. I think everybody. that's everybody too. Men too. You don't like the girl that's going to call you. You don't like that girl that be like, oh, I'm going to cook for you. You be liking a chick that's going to give you some oodles and news and send you out your way. Nah. That's no, like, never. Uh, that's uh, never. I don't know when you got that email. Men like abuse. I want a woman that can cook me a good meal. See, I make Thanksgiving. You don't even call her and you want a meal? Do you at least bring the groceries? Of course, hey, my, my fridge ready to stay full. I cook Thank for you. my kids all the time. You bring groceries to her house Listen, when you want her to cook. I'm not. I don't really go to her house. Thank you. I don't trust that. You don't go to her house. Not without my biscuit. Uh, you got a lot of pain. So you have them come over. So you just call them and tell them to come over. You say like, hey, baby, come over here. They call me and they, you know, what I'm saying, I tell them to meet me in the parking lot or something. And you know what I mean. So okay. it's like so it's like a domino delivery almost. Lisa, yeah. do you hear this? Though? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to this. This is crazy. So wait, so you just tell me, meet me in the parking lot, and that's it. I mean, it? when I when I wanted something serious, it was like you know, I give her a massage, cook her some food, you know, buy her some flowers, sing her a song, play the guitar for. You take her, on a date. Oh, well, I didn't hear okay. a date yet. Uh, my the date, we can go, we do the date, you know. So I take them shopping and all that. I'm a oh, nice okay. guy. You know what I'm saying? You're a Scorpio. They spend money. I, 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 I got few, I got a few dollars. You right, spend a few Scorpio hours. men spend money, so mm-hmm. I'm surprised. <laughs> I spend money too. I, I spend a lot of money, but I just think when relationships over, you should give some of that back. That's all I'm saying. Like, <laughs> if I buy you a car, that's like a company no, no, car. You got to return gonna, the car. Give it and God take it away. <laughs> I mean, we play right, we're, we're, we're going to talk no? about that about the money thing because that's a big issue. It is. And that's a big issue in a lot of relationships. Mm. It's also a big issue with a lot of exes when mm. they have children together, right? And that mm. type of thing too. This is Street Soldiers. I'm Lisa Evers, your host. We'll be back right after this. You sitting there taking mad long to pay the bill. Like you knew the bill was coming. What's up? Why are you standing there right. hesitating? Women are like a good, a good job to me. Like they may not be hiring at the moment, but they are accepting applications. <laughs> What about the 
deal breakers. We talked about turnoffs. Are there deal breakers? Like you go out with somebody for a mm. while, you yeah. see them, and then things just totally. Definitely the hygiene thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? I, I rarely kiss, but you know what I'm saying? If the breath smells like doo-doo breath, Man, it's over, man. I know about the kissing. Rarely kiss. I smell, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Rarely not a kiss. kiss either. I'm not a kiss. Not a kiss. I don't really? like all uh, nah, saliva and all that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Especially, I got to, I got to. Send you to the dentist and get your grill done or something. What to make kind of sure. Dude, I, I, no, he's right. I, I mean, listen, girl, about I just, I Hi- hygiene is very important. Personal hygiene is very Personal important. Personal hygiene. I agree yeah. with him. I've Musky kissed a girl chicks. and felt her tooth was loose on the inside. <laughs> oh. Oh. That has to be fixed. Y'all must not mess with you. That's an issue. Why is one of your tooth loose? <laughs> maybe a little. I know HPV when I feel it. And you know when that tooth is loose, that breath is kicking. Because when your teeth is funny, your breath is kicking. Exactly. My turn off with a date is that when you know when a bill come and a lady and a man is there money and you sitting there take it mad long to pay the bill like you knew the bill was coming what's up why are you standing there right. hesitating you know what I mean right exactly mm-hmm. if, you did, look, if, you, look, if you hold on if you go to the date and it don't sound like this at the, when he lay it down you in the wrong day. He's used to chicken heads. <laughs> we got to put that thing down. <laughs> you ain't never right, heard that either. Don't play. I, I, Tiana, 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 you ever heard that before? Tiana, you ever heard of metal Do women make it too easy for men? Do women make it too easy? Like the yes. women of today. Okay. Yes. For women example. of today make it too easy. Like like Stevie said previously, like he don't even have to call a chick and he's going to get the drawers. You know what I mean? Like he what said, he's talking about. What's in your wallet? Look at that. Her husband is But you got to get a new wallet though. That wallet. That wallet is done. You got an old mechanic. MTA work a wallet. Stevie, work, Stevie wait, oh Stevie, it'd be really nice if the credit cards were actually in your name. Oh yeah, they all, look. They saw, they saw, oh, the credit card is some white girl shades just now. The credit card is, but look at that wallet though. That is a straight Jiffy Lube manager you ever, wallet. You ever held one of these, Lisa? Lisa, you ever hold See, one? But he's of these used to chicken heads. That's why he's this? pulling out these you cards right now. That doesn't press a real lady. You want to hold, hold a lot more than that? Trust me. Thank you. Ooh. How about this? Oh. All right, what about... Anyway. Okay, let's right, talk about... They do make it too easy. Women make guys it too easy. Guys don't even call them, and they sweating these guys. Guys mm. don't even take them out. They're sitting there giving meeting up the drawers lots, before the lots. Netflix film is up. Like, come on. Like, it's really sad. The they have to make a man work intro. for what he wants. Exactly. Before the intro, he's in the drawers. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not even... What about I'm, that? You know what I don't I feel prefer, women make it too easy. I feel actually women today actually take over. I feel like these independent women, they're doing their thing. A woman will wake you up and tell you, it's time for you to go if you're over her crib. she would be like, look, I got to get up in the morning. You got to get out of here. A lot, woman, of, right. a lot of these women are taking control. They got these jobs. And I don't care what you guys say. Women are the best players on this planet. You will never be as nice y'all. Yeah. as a woman. Women are like a good a good job to me. Like, they may not be hiring at the moment, but they are accepting applications. <laughs> and if they find the right application, they will put the resume on file. Yes, but we still make it I'm very easy you, for they, women. We still make it very easy for men. Men do not have to work like they had to do in our parents' days. Like, it's right. way back harder. in the day, you had to really work for some drawers. Now, you just tell a girl, oh, he put that little pimp voice on. No, oh, you know he's so why? beautiful. He no, in the drawers. It's, it's not even about this voice. No, it's take not even about that. We're, we're about it's that. about the social media. Look look at where we at with the chicks. Yeah, Everybody right. want to be half naked. Yep. And you know yep. what I'm saying? They are competing to see who can show the most body. And, yeah. that's, and that's what makes it And a man is easier. not going to respect that's that. That's what I'm saying. So if you're doing that on Instagram, when I see you then, you might as well go ahead and just, you know what I mean? Give it up. Like you're saying, if you're putting it on display, then then it's like a buffet. Come on. Yeah, come on. Let me get myself you taking your clothes off on Instagram. You're not getting no money for that. Like, All the women on. ain't taking their clothes off on Instagram. Everybody. It's a lot of thick women that don't follow. take them off. 98% of them. Well, a lot of them. 98%. Them. That's well, what we what's follow. Been the, what's been some of the craziest things that people have DM'd you? Oh yeah, they DM. I mean, I seen that. I seen it all. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> what? The I mean, I, I can't even say because you go, we got these young listeners, but you know, I've seen some unbelievable things that Crazy. a woman could do. Like that they offer, like... That offer? I'm saying it, the videos that they're sending me. Women need self-esteem. Right. In order to deal with you guys, especially a guy like y'all two, what is y'all you gotta two? have Come self-esteem. What is y'all you don't go to my church. Yeah, what do you mean man. by y'all two? Meaning like somebody that's confident and that got a lot of ladies in after the them. In the public eye. In the public eye. You have to have confidence like. messing with guys like that. Because if you don't, a lot of little girls don't have self-esteem because they didn't have a that's father. True. I grew that's up true. with a father, so my father taught us from day one a game. So I'm telling y'all to Show y'all daughters the game so they can be strong when it come down to these dudes. What about that, Stevie? I mean, I agree. You know, my daughter, I'm not worried about her in her dating situation. You know what I'm saying? Because she sees me and she learns from me and she's like, Dad, I'm never falling for none of that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm never falling for I'm like, one day you're going to fall in love. You know what I'm saying? she would be like, she's like, it's, it's going to be with a nerd, not with nobody like you. There you go. And I'm like, whew. Go. She wants a nerd. That's the great. Opposite. Nobody the in the music industry, None nobody in entertainment. Yeah. Nobody. Like a guy. Yeah, my but 21-year-old daughter, she dates a nerd, been dating him for two years. I love it. 
know right. what I'm saying? We'll be right back. Women lie better than us. And I think women, women lie get, better than men? Yeah. First of all, women don't lie. They don't tell you all of the truth, so it's a big difference. Men straight up lie, we get caught in our lies. One of the big complaints we get all the time is that the guys are cheap and the girls are looking for guys that have guys money. Th- things have changed. Like he said earlier, women are more educated now. Women have more opportunities. The women are making the money and they tricking. I can't believe they believe in Halloween, tricking and treating. I couldn't believe it. I think I it's see. trick, no treat. Like, no, like what? Girls like what? are spending their money on dudes now and it's ridiculous. They've it's an epidemic that. and it's sad. I mean, maybe in the you mean like educated world, educated the women with their own money, and then that. they just have the guy that's at home on the couch all day. Yeah, I can't believe that. That is a travesty. Yeah, what about what about the guy like me who you know what I'm saying who helps a woman get money? Mm-hmm. My, the well, two that, women that I've dated on television, they they, they make over uh, you know a million dollars a year. So you know that's because of you, exactly. right? So you help them, but I'm talking about the men that just sit there <laughs> and just put their hands in their pants, don't have a job, and they dealing with a girl that's a real educated woman getting money right. and. And the girl is taking care of the guy. That Blames. is really where things are going bad now. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. A the lot. game has really been changed. Like definitely, definitely though. things like that. For a while, since 9-11. Uh, what, would, what would you <laughs> tell, forget. Stevie, if, you're, if your daughter, if your 17-year-old daughter, or a daughter right. who's in her teens, she decided she wanted to date a rapper, mm-hmm. what would you tell her? <sighs> like, would you have a father-daughter talk and pull her aside and go listen I mean, to I definitely, I, I, need to really... I definitely have to have a conversation, but, you know, it all depends on what kind of rapper it is. If it's, like, Chance the Rapper or, you know what I'm saying, one of those rappers like that. Not about like Future? She can't get Future? I mean, sipping that dirty Sprite all day and all that. I, ain't I, no Future I, if Future's no, no future 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 <laughs> with, with my daughter, you know what I'm saying? I like his music, but I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't I want to date my daughter. Well, right. but, but in terms of the like, what, like, what would be some of the things that you would tell her? Like, watch out. Or is this, you know, well, this see, is what's this is what could happen, and he's going to tell you you're the only one, and then you're going to find well, my, out. My daughter's by been eight, around 10 o'clock me. that night. You're not. My daughter's been around me. Both my daughters been around me since they were babies, and you know they see my lifestyle, so they understand what not to do, and you know they see what I put women through, and they're not proud of it, and I'm not proud of it, but you know, saying so they learn from my mistakes, so they see what it is already. Do you, do you feel women? Do you feel women? Do you instill in them like don't give so much over to the guy right away? They know that they see that yes of course i do you know what i'm saying I'm glad my 18 year old still she just turned 18 still a version i'm happy he told you that yeah we oh, talk about nice. everything you know what i'm saying that's nice she ain't got no she ain't got no bodies at 18 who thank you lord but she might have just told you that though too. no 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 she, she ain't she, she, she gonna tell you like no, oh yeah no. dad i was just in the backyard no, no, no. no me and my daughter keep it honey too so you do, and, and tell it tell her those, those kind of things all right yeah, wh- my father talk kept it real with us too did he he, t- he mm-hmm. told did you, you oh, told my father, my your father, father gave talk, you some unusual advice so for a girl my father taught us about sex like eight years old my mother and father they've been married 33 years in, in march so they keep it real honey well I, my my parents say thing my parents been married 42 years that's and they've been cheating on each other for 41 years i didn't even know that i didn't Back in the day, my dad used to uh, make me call his girlfriend auntie. I didn't even know. You had mad uh, aunties. I didn't know auntie, that one. Well, my auntie, auntie Jockey. Was a, it auntie was Auntie was Jockey. Girlfriend? I didn't even know until I came home and I was like, Mama, look what Auntie Jockey bought me. She was like, Psh, That ain't your auntie. That's your daddy girlfriend. Yeah. Now go outside. Your uncle Craig gonna take you to the zoo. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, auntie. <laughs> two ways. He's like, you can't. I would never. That date is an honest to God. I was single. I would never date. That was the truth. That is the truth because women lie better than us, and I think women lie better than men. Yeah. First of all, women don't lie. They don't tell you all of the truth. So it's a big difference. Men straight up lie and we get caught in our lives. I think women lie. handle stressful situations better than us. They handle everything yeah, better yeah. than us. Like, Steve, I've seen your show. Like, when you get a side chick, she walk in, you be nervous. Women don't panic. No. Women don't panic when they two dudes walk in. Women are so gangster, so they will introduce I'm you not, to I'm the guy. They be like, nervous. James, this is Todd. Todd, this is James. And you be like, it's nice to meet you. James, Stevie, I like Stevie, this Stevie, what guy. about that? What about that? I mean, uh, I'm never nervous. You know, I, I like to lay it all out on the table. You know what I'm saying? I have been a lie in a relationship, but I, telling the truth is better. You know what I'm saying? That's why. I, I make sure they know each other if that's the type of relationship. T- right. Telling the truth, yes. like from the very beginning, or telling the no, truth as once you. Once he already caught, he gonna. See, men can, yeah, yeah, once, yeah, yeah. Once, once, from the yeah, from the beginning, it's kind of hard to do that. Well, it used to be, but now I just tell the truth from the beginning. Thank all of our guests for being with us. <laughs> all together, Brett baby. Michaels, Tiana Smalls, and Stevie J. And uh, thank you all very hey, much for watching Lisa. this episode of Street Soldiers. Remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. Yeah. I hope it's your only weapon. Let's push for peace.